do any of it did any of you guys watch wrestling when you were growing up because it was kind of a 90s thing yes you did i did i didn't watch it so much yeah i didn't watch wrestling i watched a wrestler i watched hulk hogan in this show that was like a, I think it was like a late 90s show. It was called Thunder in Paradise. Yes. It was so cool. I mean, he drives around in this boat. Right. And then the boat has like a wave runner in it. <laughs> and like, he'd like get shot out of the back of the, there it is right oh there. Oh my God. Get shot out of the back of the boat. And like, dude, it was the most epic thing. And I loved Hulk Hogan. Like, I thought he was the coolest dude. Ever. Oh my God. That's too funny. Do you have an, do you have an eye patch? No, no, no. Oh, no. It's like his version. Sorry, I can't get like a big. I don't know why this bit is. Looks like he has an eye patch, John. Oh, I do see an eye patch, actually. It was like, uh, oh, yeah, he did have an eye patch for a minute, dude. He did. Where? where, Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Dude. Full pirate with it. Wow. Straight up. Look at how epic he looks. Talk about a mustache. Can you imagine the upkeep on that thing? Whew. Apparently he's a racist though. Perfectly. Little Same. racist, just a little. Oh, dude, he's like he had a he had like a sex tape come out. The man's gone, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. The boat might have sank. <laughs> the, the, the thunder may have, you know. Thunder left paradise. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, dude, he's the Floridian Rambo. He really is. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's down in Florida, I think. <laughs> good right? band name. Uh, that is really a good band name. Yeah. Add that to the list. <laughs> um, but wrestling is so. Uh, I watched wrestling when I was younger, and then I got out of it by like middle school, you know. And then I was more into sports and music and stuff like that. And then I went to college, and I was like, I didn't watch it for I don't know twenty years or whatever. I'm thirty six now, and uh, I just I guess it was on randomly, and I started. I just it happened to be on, and then long story short, this girl got punched, but she got punched in real life. So like, she was like bloody, like she had her face broken and shit like that. And it seemed like I was like, I thinking it was part of the story. I'm like, when did wrestling get okay again? Like, it seems like there's more athletes in there. It's not so cheesy. Like it's not so much of storylines and it's more of like the wrestling and the athletics. And then I found out that it was real. Like she actually got punched in the face and I kind of got back oh. in the storylines and stuff like that. So now I'm a big fan. I watch it. It's like my guilty pleasure because I can see why people think it's, lame or, or silly but uh dude the amount of work it's almost like being a touring musician where you're on the road you're like doing shows oh, yeah. four or five nights uh, and then people don't realize like building a ring is like there's no springs or anything in it like yeah it give, has some give because of the weight of the bodies but i mean they're two by fours and like a mat like that shit hurts yeah. so just watching some of the uh the stuff, it kind of got me back into it. I think one of the things people are like, well, it's fake. I'm like, well, so is every other show, you know, Game of Thrones. And, you know, it's meant to be that, you know, you can yeah, criticize. Is fake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Shit, man. I'm so sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> for you. Dude, it I, bought, I bought this belt the other day and I had no <laughs> idea because. Oh, my God. I thought you won that. No. So. Oh, man. I saw it on the website. I guess it was like a Black Friday special or something. Or I guess because I watch wrestling, all the analytics has that shit come up into my ads. So I saw it. I'm like, oh, that'll be perfect for the new desk. You know, thinking it was maybe like six inches or something like that. Like something I can stick on my desk. And so I get a couple packages in the mail. And since I was doing a podcast that night, I didn't even look who they were from. I just kind of was like, I'll wait. I'll wait till I do the podcast and I can just open it you know, and be surprised and get their reaction like on film. So I opened this box and it could be either camera parts. I got some, you know, t-shirts and, or, or the belt or uh, a couple other things, maybe candles or some random stuff, lights for the studio. Yeah. (laughs) And um, candles from the Cypress Hill podcast. (laughs) Yes. I wasn't sure. So I'm never, and since we're not together, like it's hard to have a smoke sesh. You know, and I never know which who smokes and doesn't. I try not to smoke too much on a podcast because then that's why I have my little notes here. It tears. becomes a podcast. Yeah. I, well, we had Nick in the other day and we, just because of COVID, to be safe, you know, we all wear masks into the studio. And then once they sit down and we're all like six feet, we take them off. So instead of passing a joint or like passing a bowl, I rolled us all joints. So we all had our own joint. And I didn't realize <laughs> the studio is decently big. But it's not huge either. You know, it's not like a big 
studio setup. So I forgot. I got so baked in here that I was looking at the monitor. Oh, jeez. Like, it was so smoky in here. I'm like, I don't even think people can see us right now. Like, Are we still oh, recording? No. It, it totally looked like Gosh. a real podcast. Josh, <laughs> to go back to uh, that. Dude, that podcast is so lit. To go back yeah. to that, uh, that WWF, that, that belt. It reminds me of uh, the Sublime Tour with Soja and Common Kings. Oh, that's right. Where we had this cornhole set up every night. I mean, before we go on and play, we go and play cornhole with, with all the bands mm -hmm. backstage. And uh, I don't know who brought the, the weight belt. I think it was uh, Common Kings. It was Mata. Mata from Common Kings. He brought the weight belt, like the weight uh, WWF belt out, and he kept slapping it, bare chested around. <laughs> and I don't know what it was, but I wanted it. And uh, yes. I wanted to, wanted to win. <laughs> was so we there played a every night cornhole? Oh, it was the cornhole contest. Yeah. Did cornhole. You well, no, it's not about no, it's, it's not, not about, about who wins or who loses. You know, it's <laughs> a little more about uh, those guys are cutthroat when it comes to the game <laughs> of cornhole. Like they, are they so do not good. play games. They and Soja, like Soja, went undefeated. So when, they were like professional. Was, all when it was uh, the, this guy Hellman, the yeah. uh, I think he's what is he? He's yeah. the horn player. The horn player, yeah, yeah. dude. For he, Hellman is one of the best. Uh, cornhole players i've ever seen he was drunk. germany his eyes were closed and he was he was stinking them i yeah. mean they don't even touch the ring they just pew, pew, pew. that's crazy dude i was but, was i just looked it up because i was like i'm pretty sure i think cornhole started in maryland but it was germany way off it's germany yeah germans way got off. us <laughs> But yeah, the belt is awesome. So I open it up and I'm thinking it's like plastic because it said on the website like plastic rivets and, all, and I'm thinking like this is going to be plastic and everything. It's fucking metal. Like there's metal like it's, it's all metal and it's all leather. Like it might be a fake leather, but it's like heavy. It's fucking huge. And like they're not real diamonds, but they're sparkly as fuck. It looks big. It's you might like not big. be wearing that, Josh. I mean, maybe you will, but. <laughs> I think Serenation is going to make custom. Uh... Weight belts or the uh, dude, you should. Belts. Jay, you do so many flips and stuff like that. You would be the coolest wrestler ever. Oh, you dude, would I would. Be. Hey, the Rock. Like, what do you think of the Rock? I love the Rock. Well, here's what I think you should do, dude. This is one of my favorite wrestlers right now. He's probably pound for pound the best, like, actual wrestler, like, like the one that knows all the moves and can keep people safe and stuff like that. His name's Matt Riddle. I don't know if okay. you can... is this are we about to watch this yeah. right now? Are you about to show us the yeah. SmackDown footage? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can you guys see this? Yes, yeah. we got you. So because you, you're so athletic, you're in shape, you're good looking, you're charismatic, you would be the right. perfect. Like, my good day. Day. Hey. 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 Oh, gosh. Hey. 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 my brother God. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. No joke. You would be Thank like you. you could make millions of dollars being a wrestler, but this is you guys should you should team up with Matt Riddle. <laughs> And you guys should be a tag team together. But here's Matt Riddle. Bro. And now Matt Riddle is <laughs> separation. He's a total bro. You guys have that same kind of surfer vibe or like Florida vibe. Oh, yeah. You and can he, take the kid out of California, but you can't take California out of the kid. Oh, he, <laughs> he only wears oh, candles. Yeah. Oh, that is epic. And when he jumps in the ring, he like flips him off. <laughs> He's the only wrestler that wrestles barefoot. Uh, wow. Man, if I'd have kept growing my hair out for sure, I'd be, uh, I'd be his twin. Oh, guys look at really like guys. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. wrestling right there. <laughs> Woo. Nice. That's epic. 